This week in the galley, we're in West Los Angeles, and we're at the Red O restaurant right on Melrose. Standing next to me is Chef Anthony. Hey, Chef, thanks for inviting us over. No worries, no worries. And what do you have in store for us today? Uh, today, I'm going to be making our pescado del dia. I'm going to be using halibut. I'm going to be grilling it up on our fruit uh, fired uh, grill. So, we're going to grab the halibut out. All right, we'll go ahead. I got olive oil already on the plate. I'm going to hit it more on top. Season definitely all the time. And then from here, right on to the grill. I like to do a presentation side down first, just so we get good color on the top. All right, give it a little turn, get the nice crisscross pattern on the grill. So letting the heat build up on the grill before you even start is one of the key things to grilling. I mean, uh, starting off with a cold grill, it's like starting off with a cold pan. You're gonna end up no matter what with uh, pieces of meat sticking and uh, that's definitely what you want to avoid, especially with working with such a beautiful piece of fish or a beautiful piece of steak. You, you want to have the, the nice, sexy sear on it all the time and that, that happens when you start with a hot grill. So this is our uh, Mexican white rice that we do here at the restaurant. Hit it with a little bit of mojo de ajo, the white rice itself. So you always want to make sure the fish is about medium consistency. Um, we're placing it on top of the white rice now and then finishing it off with uh, Wajillo chimichurri that we make here at the restaurant. It's uh, Wajillo chilies that are pureed with arbol chilies, uh, finished with green onions and cilantro. And then finished off with a grilled lime and a cilantro spray. Anthony, this looks delicious. And I love the, the way you did it, nice and simple. Anybody can do this dish at home. Definitely. Except the sauce. I'm sure the <laughs> sauce is like some trade secret. But I've never had this, this Mexican chili before. Oh, that's delicious. So glad you like it. I mean, also topping it off with the grilled lime adds a little more smoky flavor and definitely adds to the components of the dish. Now, and the sauce, I mean, I was expecting it to have a real bite, like a habanero type bite but it's just a lot no, of flavor. So, so the thing about chilies that a lot of people confuse is that they're always just hot. I mean, once you start working with them and cooking them, the, the sweetness of chilies come out a lot. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's part of the, the, the key uh, of working with chilies is bringing out that sweet flavor as well. That, that's really wonderful. I've had halibut cooked a lot of different ways, but this sauce really makes it pretty cool. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Chef Anthony. Thanks for coming down. Remember, we're at the Red O Restaurant, West LA, right on Melrose. Beautiful dish. Thank you well, very much. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sportfish.